Hello and welcome to What's Up Wednesdays. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Up Wednesdays, a weekly video series to talk entrepreneurial advice for startups, travel tips and hacks to travel better, and overall motivational advice to get you through your week. My name is Hannah, and this week I am talking all about how to find that one thing that you are willing to commit to, no matter how long it takes, you've got to be number one at. How do you figure something big out like that? That's what we're going to cover this week, and I'm really excited to dive into this topic with you all. So this week's topic was inspired from just this pull to give 2020 the best that we possibly can. And although this year has been very difficult, I feel that this year has been super valuable. So I've learned a lot already as a creator this year and business owner and just really dove deep on, you know, why I'm doing this. You know, what is the purpose of it all? And at the end of the day, am I fulfilled? So these are questions that I ask myself all the time. Because finding that thing that you want to be number one at in itself is a job, but once you figure that out, committing to it and dedicating to it is a whole nother thing. So to begin finding your number one thing that you want to be the best at, you've really got to dig deep, you know? What gives me the most fulfillment and joy? And can I turn that passion into a full-time career? So when it comes to being a traveling photographer, there's so many different angles that I've been able to look at and turn that into a full-time career and I'm ga I'm gaining a little monetary value here and there to keep me going but at the end of the day whether I get paid or not that's something that I'm so passionate about I get so much joy from taking photos just of anything I see in my neighborhood and so to me I know for certain that's something that I'm willing to work at no matter how long it takes I know that no matter what where this journey takes me as a traveling photographer and entrepreneur and everything mixed in, that long term I can be happy doing this. That I would say is the first place to start. You know, ask yourself, what of my passions and hobbies do I feel is more joy than work? You know, is there one specific thing that stands out among all the things I'm interested in that doesn't feel like work when I'm doing it? When you know the one thing that you are willing to work at no matter how long it takes, life actually becomes so much easier. I will say that the work does get harder, but in a more fulfilling way, if that makes sense. At the end of every single day, I, I feel like I've been putting in way more hours than I ever did at any other job that I've ever done. And if I put that on a tally mark board or something and compared it to what I was working in the past compared to now, I, I, I honestly don't know how I would be juggling everything right now. But somehow the energy just comes and the creativity just flows and then week to week, you know, things get easier and better and um, it just works. So when you're in pursuit of your passion and doing the thing that you want to be the number one at, all the opportunities come about and kind of fall into place to allow you to get better at that career and better at that, you know, thing that you want to be the best at. I look at my passion of becoming a traveling photographer as this lifelong triathlon, right? And each phase gets me closer to finishing that goal because becoming number one means that you are preparing for it, you're dedicated, you're putting in the work. You know, athletes train for months or years sometimes to prepare for some for a race or for an event. And it's a really long term thing to commit to both mind, body, soul. If I go back to the triathlon example, you know, I figured out the thing that I want to do the rest of my life. So that's the end goal, right? That's the finish line of learning everything I possibly can within the travel and photography industry. And there's a lot. So... <laughs> Having a business that falls in line with that worked out perfectly because I can constantly evolve and work at this for a lifelong commitment. When that finish goal is set in mind, I then broke it into thirds. You know, you can't just jump to the finish line, right? It's, it's a third, a three-step process. First process is 
preparing myself for what it takes to work at a lifelong commitment. And that takes a lot. You've got to make sure that your physical and mental health is in check. I talk about this a lot, but it is so, so important. So your daily habits and routines have got to be in check every single day. Getting your water in, getting your, your three or four workouts in a week, eating clean and healthy every single day, choosing to work at yourself every single day because your strongest, best version of yourself is what is going to make it to the finish line. The second part to achieving a lifelong commitment is getting your ducks in a row. So whether that's opening your own business or collaborating and joining a brand or a company that falls in line with your passion, that you have room to grow, you know, working yourself up the ladder in a way that fulfills you and challenges you and working for a company that supports, you know, your, the employees and actually is there for people. That's all very important. So if you can find a company that stands for that and allows you the freedom and growth to work towards your passion for a lifelong career, that's amazing. Stick with it. And if neither of those boxes work, then start doing side gigs. You know, try all different kinds of job fields and all different kinds of jobs, just trying to chip away it little bit by a little bit. Learn those skills that you need to build a foundation because with a strong foundation and a net that supports you, you're going to be able to make it to the finish line a lot easier. We've got to have that support group and the people around us that are going to help us make it to that finish line. When you're running a race, you're not the only one, right? There's probably 50 to hundreds of contestants running that triathlon. So you're not just competing, you're, you're competing for yourself to make it to the finish line, but you're in it together, if that makes sense. I mean, I've never ran a triathlon, but I don't think that you go into it like, I'm going to be number one at this race. No, it's for the accomplishment of finishing the race. So when you see other runners, you're helping each other out. You know, you're giving each other encouragement, like, keep going, keep running. You got this. That's how we should be in real life. You know, supporting our fellow coworkers and our friends and other business owners who are all trying to rise up and pursue their dreams. Let's help each other. You know, we don't have to be each other's competition. We can help each other, share each other's content, and work at our goals together. At least I think that's the strongest way to make it to the finish line together, right? So the third part to me for pursuing a lifelong passion to make it to that finish line is constantly evolve and grow. There is so much knowledge to learn in this world, it just honestly blows my mind. And if I go a day or two days or three days without having learned something new or listening to a new podcast, reading a book, something that challenges me and gives me more knowledge, then I feel like I've kind of done myself a disservice by not learning as much as I can. So to make it to the finish line, we've constantly have to grow and challenge ourselves because otherwise life gets mundane and it's easy to give up on the race. So this was a long-winded explanation of how to find that thing that you want to be the number one at, imagining that finish line and being able to have the longevity and dedication to get there, breaking it up into three parts so it's a little bit more manageable. And within those three parts, there are so many steps. So content like we publish each week, we try to share a little bit of insight on how we're doing it. You know, we're still in the process and we're still reaching out and growing and collaborating and trying every possible way that we can to get to be the best of what we do and to make our company the best it can be. So I don't publish these videos just for the sake of publishing content. You know, there is a purposeful message in each one. And it's my biggest attempt to collaborate with everyone that is trying to pursue a dream of their own. You know, we don't have to do it on our own. That's why there are so many creators out there publishing content just like this. And if you caught our video from last week, we are still seeking accountability and trying to hold each other just responsible for the goals that we want to set and making sure that we don't give up on the race. So reach out to us if you're looking for accountability to meet goals the rest of this year. And if you're looking for travel deals and you want to get out of town, definitely hit us up. We can hit you up. You know, we can set you up with a really good day trip. Just get you out of town and, and help you have a good safe time so definitely reach out to us about that thank you all so much for tuning in i hope this provided some insight as to where we are as a company where we want to be how we're going to get there 
and how committed we are to the end goal. Thank you all again so much for tuning in. Pay attention to our socials for all the updates on new content and day trips coming out. We've, as we've mentioned, we have new travel series coming out, so we're working on content for that right now. We'll have more specific dates on when we are dropping that series as soon as we know ourselves. So <laughs> thank you all for tuning in and supporting us and sharing out our messages every week. I'm sure there's a lot of people that need to hear this, and we really appreciate the feedback and support. Thank you all again. We will see you next time. Bye for now.